Welcome to our grade four or five spring music sharing session. My name is Lucy. And my name is Coco. On behalf of 4JP, 4KW, 4TB, and 5CH, 5HK, and 5RR, thank you for joining us today. We're excited to have you join us as we celebrate our musical learning with you today. Overlooking the sea, sky, and mountains, we are lucky here at WPGA to be situated on the Jericho lands. Our community benefits greatly from our enjoyment of these lands in our day-to-day -day lives and continue to express our gratitude for those who have lived on and cared for this traditional, ancestral, and unceded territory since time immemorial. The Squamish, tsleil and Musqueam Nations. This past November, we were honored to have tsleil tooth musician Gordon Dick join us here at WPGA to work with our co-curricular choirs to teach the Coast Salish Anthem. We learned that the anthem was created by Chief Dan George of tsleil tooth Nation as a prayer song while he waited for his younger brother to return safely from a hunting trip. He then gifted this song to everyone living on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish. With the seed of that gift, grade three through seven students have learned this important song and been taught its history. We learned about vocables, syllables, or sounds without specific meaning. Importantly, anyone listening to the song is meant to hear whatever message or meaning comes to them personally. We also learned that the song might change depending on the occasion, an upbeat tempo for more festive occasions and a slower one for those that are more serious. Today, we invite you to reflect on the meaning that comes to your heart. Join us in welcoming Musqueam member from 5RR, Mason Sparrow, as he honors us by drumming. Please rise for the singing of the Coast Salish Anthem. Thank you. Reflection is a key part of our musical experience here at the junior school. And what better time than the end of the school year to look back and think about our areas of growth. We encourage you to join us as we share in our progress. We thank you for turning off your phone so you can enjoy the live music experience. This allows everyone to stay present and immersed in the music instead of viewing it through the screens of their neighbors. The performance is being recorded by Mr. Onharo at the back. You will be able to find your uploaded performance recordings on our WPGA AB YouTube channel once they're done. Now please join us in welcoming students from our grade four pre-band program to share what they've been working on.
Good morning. I'm Alara from 4KW. With me is Lennon from 4JP and Joy from 4TV. Since you last heard us, we have made our way through the eras of music history from the medieval period through the Renaissance, Baroque, and Classical periods. As we've explored the recorders placed over the centuries, we've also looked at some of the technological developments that have shaped the way music, art, and society in general have evolved over time. For example, did you know that the Baroque period highlighted the idea of big contrasts? In art, it was between light and dark. Think of a mere girl with a pearl earring. In music, there were te terrace dynamics, abrupt changes in volume, like from loud to quiet, and more obvious contrast in tempo, fast to slow. Contrast was the theme to create more drama. Also, during the Baroque period, form or way music can be organized changed to include something called a rondo. It became popular during the classical period, used by composers like Haydn, Mozart, and Beethoven. Think of it like the evening news. You have your broadcaster, let's call them A. They pass it on to the person on the street, let's call them B. They throw it back to the broadcaster, A, who asks for a weather update. We'll call that C, and they'll go back to, you've guessed it, the broadcaster, A. Maybe another segment from entertainment. We can call that D. Then back to the broadcaster. Do you see the pattern? Our Rondo a la grade four will feature a familiar A theme to link a melody of tunes together. See if you can recognize it. Within the larger work, we'll play pieces that use a variety of different musical forms. Homophony, where a two-part song, O Bass Wagon, shares the same rhythms in both parts, but uses different pitches. Canon, where one part falls after another to create harmony in Scotland's burning. And A, B, or binary form in Mary with a Red Bird, with a little bit of improv added in. Through each of the pieces, we stretch to apply newer rhythm concepts the extended pentatonic scale, and even filled in some of the gaps that were needed to meet the challenges of our curiosity. We hope you enjoy.
Hi, I'm Ishan. Grade four string six is to play two pieces we've been working on. The first piece, Allegro by Shinichi Suzuki, challenges us to create two con contrasting moods. The beginning is like a march. We create this character by playing with crisp bow strokes. The contrasting mood is lyrical, so we play with smooth legato bow strokes. And the ritardando marking at the end of the phrase means we gradually slow down. I'm Bella. The second piece we'll play is Bluegrass Tune, Cripple Creek named after a stream located between Georgia and Oregon. Notice that we all start by playing the tune, and then on the repeat time, we split into three different types of accompaniments. Break, backup, and bass, creating a rich tapestry of sound. Please enjoy.
Good morning, everyone. My name is Abby from 4JP. And I'm Ryan from 4KW. Standing in front of you is a term two grade four class choir. You might remember hearing the other half of our grades sing at the winter music sharing in January. Now it's our turn to share what we've been working on in choir class together. Some of you might recognize our first song from the 1970 Disney film, The Arezzo Cats. This two-part arrangement of scales and arpeggios challenges us in more ways than one. Through our songs, we explore a difference between a musical scale, a sequence of notes moving ascending and descending direction by step, an arpeggio, chords sounded in broken formation. We also worked hard to learn the hand signs, which you'll see in the middle section. Our second song is called Pirates of the Cherry Tree by Penny Rodriguez. This uh, creative poem by female poet Nancy Millam paints the colorful story of children imagining themselves as pirates on a grand outdoor adventure. We work hard on our procrastination in this song to ensure the listener understands the story and added dynamics to create suspense. We are very grateful to have Keen Ming Wong join us on the piano for our class rehearsals and here today as we sing for you. Thanks so much. We hope you enjoy. Yes. 
Congratulations, grade fours. Thank you for your enthusiastic performances. Time for a quick switch. Grade fours, you should take your instruments with you as you clear the stage and make your way to your seat in the audience. Grade fives, you can quietly bring your instruments and music to the stage. We'll see, see you again in a few minutes. Welcome back. Allow us to present the grade five intro to band class. We've had quite a year from our collaborative mu music listening and graffiti project, early on to our woodwind and brass instrument rotations. We've stretched our brains and our fingers to explore new avenues of music making this year. In addition to discovering the basics of sound production and first fingerings on our second instruments, we've had more classes together as a group to explore what we all have in common, the use of wind or air in motion that our flutes, clarinets, and trumpets need to make sound. We literally breathe life into our instruments and learning how to control our breath is essential for music making in concert band going forward. By using our wind properly and learning how to use our lungs and muscles for their sound, we can start to articulate better. On wind instruments, articulation is when we use our tongue to have clarity to the start of each note we play. This is particularly useful when playing rhythm patterns. We also learned about our hearing health, including how our ears hear and how our hearing deteriorates over time. Used to measure the intensity of sound, the decibel scale, helps us connect day-to-day -day sounds of the city and the real-life impact. For example, the average office noise averages around 70 decibels, but did you know that the World Health Organization defines noise over 65 decibels noise pollution? Using New York and Mumbai's case study to better understand this global issue and the effect on our health and well-being, we then discovered the proposed solution by India's Minister of Road, Transport, and Highways. Back in 2021, to change all car horns to play melodies on Indian classical instruments. We are not making this up. Google it after the show. After discussing the pros and cons of this idea, we composed our own car horn melodies for our current instruments using the online co composition platform, Flat. We had to think about the effects of tempo, pitch, and intervals, rhythm, and repetition to create short tunes with messages. Think, pardon me, can I get by, or, Emergency! Get out of the way! These short melodies have been digitally notated for others to read and perform. Today we'll be trying something quite different, an improvised performance. Over the past few classes, we discussed what happens when we all play with the same steady beat, different beats at different tempos, and more. While we use known pitches and rhythms that we can play on our current instruments in this creative experience. Improvising as a group is not an easy task. Communication is key as we need to watch our conductors carefully and listen to what's being played all around us. We'll be following present rules playing as individual sections at times and combined at others, experimenting with different musical textures. No two performances will ever be the same. We hope you enjoyed the organized chaos of the cacophony. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Deren. Grade five strings will play my Son de Glass, which means ice house. This French Canadian jig by Andre Bernet is in six eighths time. We've been learning to subdivide dotted quarter notes. This means that as we play the dotted quarter note, we feel or silently count three eighth note beats. They add up to a dotted quarter. Michelle will demonstrate by playing the first two bars slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This helps us play well together. I'm Nikki. And I'm Mason. Our second piece is an arrangement by Chris Bernatus of Oompa Loompa from the classic film Wonka. This is our first piece playing in orchestra formation where we have first and second violin sections, viola section, cello section, and bass section, all playing different parts just like professional orchestra does. I'm enjoying playing in the viola section. Every section gets to play the tune, the counter melody, and the rhythmic accompaniment. I hope you enjoy our performance.
My name is Victoria. And I'm Ashley, and we're both students in 5RR. Today we have one song we've been learning that we'd like to share with you. This song is featured in Lyle Lyle Crocodile, a computer animated musical comedy released in 2022. The plot focuses on a family who moves to New York City where their son befriends a crocodile who can only communicate verbally through singing. Take a Look at Us Now is a spirited pop song sung by entertainer Hector and his baby crocodile, Lyle. It has challenged us to work carefully on our rhythmic accuracy. We've learned that singing a solo pop song is much easier than aligning our rhythms in a small assemble. We also use this song to strengthen confidence singing in two-part harmony. If you listen carefully, you may hear different sections of the choir featured in the small echo sections and adding harmony usually in third above the melody. Thank you so much to our pianist, Kin Ming Wong, for his endless support during our class rehearsals and here on stage today. We hope you enjoy our rendition of Take a Look at Us Now. please join me in giving the grade fours and fives another hand, please. Another round of applause. What, what I hope comes to light in performances like this is just the diversity um, across the whole program because every single group is doing something the same but different. And so one of those things that I was kind of focusing on a lot today during our, our dress rehearsals is that communication piece. Every single group, whether it was a written piece of music that a composer had notated and written down that students were reading off of, to a piece of music that was written down but then learned by rote, by heart, and memorized, and then to a piece of music that 
is using graphic notation and, and using a lot of like watching at the front with signage and, and, and pieces like that. You're using, the, every single student in this room is using their eyes, their ears, their full bodies to, to really listen, to really pay attention and then to make music from that. We talk a lot about making sure there's space for the music. It's kind of like a blank canvas. Our blank canvas is the silence. And so we're working at becoming respectful listeners so that we can then fill that silence intentionally with the best of intentions. Um, I, I also really, what I love about this too is we encourage creative risk taking, but that risk taking needs to happen in a safe environment. So it's trying to give an audience, give give students a safe place to be able to try ideas and try new things, um, whether it's just getting used to an instrument they've only been playing for a year, they've been playing only for two years, maybe they just switched to it, to, um, to trying a harder piece, like something a different part that's more complicated, and doing it with their family and then loved ones in, in support here is just, that's what makes it possible. So thank you very much, parents, um, for joining us today, because they, we can't do events like this without you. Can we give your parents a, a round of applause, please? Also, a quick thank you um, to our amazing music team here. We have Angie Goddard, who runs our strings program. Mrs. Goddard, where did you go? There we go. And Frankie Lemon is always, not only in the strings program, supporting her, but right now she's at the back recording for us. Thank you, Ms. Lemon. Thank you, Ms. Richardson, for with our choir program. And, and we always talk, we always have such huge appreciation for Kim Ming Wong. He's an amazing collaborative pianist. Mr. Kevin Jackson with me on the band side here. And he's not gonna like me doing this, but Mr. Wayne Elmer at the back over there. Thank you. Thank you also to, to Maddie and Haro for coordinating all of this for us, getting the sound, the recording. Thank you, Maddie. Jeff Wu and the maintenance team as well, same thing every time. They, this time we actually managed to get um, the platforms up to hopefully give you a bit better of a view as well. So they were in yesterday getting all of that set up. Thank you to, to Jeff Wu and the maintenance team. And then last but not least, there's our fantastic leadership team um, headed by Mr. Stephen Anthony, who I'd like to invite up to say a few final words. Thanks, Ms. Bates. Um, not only was I tapping my toe and nodding my head along with all of you, I found myself incredibly curious about what you're all doing here. It's the middle of the day, the middle of the week on a Wednesday, so either you are uh, retired and you've earned this lovely free concert and didn't have to go through Ticketmaster to get your spots today, or you're self-employed, uh, or you're entirely skipping something at work today. You've put up the in a Zoom meeting uh, sign on your office door and closed the door and then you've been here. Uh, if you need a note, if you need a note to get out of any meetings that you missed today, please come and see me. I'll be at the back of the gymnasium after the session and uh, I will let your uh, boss know that this was a command performance at your child's school where you needed to be. Thank you for being with us today. Um, I, I think you uh, clearly get a real sense of not only the music and the performance, but the depth of the music education that happens here at West Point Grey Academy from these remarkable teachers uh, with your children. And long may that last, and I hope that you encourage them and inspire them at home as well and do your job as parents to keep them involved in the music program all the way through to graduation and beyond. Um, I hope that uh, you enjoyed the music that you heard today. Uh, I'm picturing several hundred people leaving this area and driving through Dunbar and Point Grey today with an earworm in their head and they're bopping their, their head back and forth and no matter the cacophony of noise that you hear around you, uh, if it's honking horns, it won't bother you at all today, but just because you're in a better space because of this. Um, and I would ask that you would join me uh, as well, please, in thanking uh, one of the most inspirational and instrumental See what I did there? Uh, people who is uh, in charge of our music program and making this come together today, and that's Miss Laura Bates. Thank you, Laura.
Thank you all. Uh, back to work right away, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Thank you.